While everyone is mocking Trump's Space Force idea, US forces are looking into drafting Goliath groupers into service as sentinels for the Navy, Coast Guard, and Homeland. So with a $5 million grant from DARPA, who are known for some pretty out there ideas, as part of the Persistent Aquatic Living Sensors Program, Harbor Branch Associate, uh, or Associate Research Professor Lawrence Cherubin is working on fact that Goliath groupers use their swim bladders to make low frequency sounds when spawning, attracting mates, and sometimes when they're approached by scuba divers. Now, I've been diving with Goliath groupers before and can't really say that I've heard anything, but I've probably been on open circuit at the time and the noise is around the kind of 60 hertz level. Uh, but basically what they're planning to do is plant a bunch of sensors along the coastline that pick up these sounds that the groupers make when something they're not used to gets too close. And if they pick up on these sounds, then there's probably an enemy diver or submarine in the area. Uh, that or there's two groupers fighting or, you know, getting off with one another. Um, <laughs> so, this is DARPA, this is what DARPA does, all of the kind of wacky stuff. So basically, by keeping a protective barrier of guard groupers around the coast of the US, they will be uh, sort of that much safer from, I don't really know what, um, but a uh, maybe an invasive species of underwater migrant caravans. But there is some more realistic science in the background, uh, sort of learning about communication between fish and behavioral science, etc. So it's a little bit more important than just guard fish. So. Sorry. <laughs> So, is this weird on DARPA's scale of odd science? I mean, they have looked at remote controlled insects as spies, uh, flying submarines, which seems like a contradiction in terms, um, laser guided bullets, um, but hey, why not guard fish? Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Will this work? Is it a little bit too wacky? They're just- Five million. Yeah, five million US dollars, or so that they can put like microphones under the water and listen for groupers going, Rrr. Go and, and also, why are they so paranoid about something? They've got all these submarines and stuff. Why are they relying on groupers just to go, oh, oh, it's I reckon it's tax dodge. They're like, right, we've got five million, we need to get rid of this. Groupers, there you go, job done. They're like, we keep seeing these signs, see something, say something. These groupers aren't doing anything. I just imagine groupers on leads attached to like, States, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said something. Well, the, the, the low. <laughs> so, our uh, Frank's just warning. He's a warning group. Oh. <laughs> I saw that story and I loved it. I was like, oh. Are you kidding? We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.